Hey, Mops and Tops, Rusty Miner coming at you with a knife mod night. Tonight, we're going to try staining G10, Micarta, and Nylon with these two dyes. We are going to try to stain uh, one this color, which is pearl gray. We're going to try staining one this color, which is charcoal gray. We're going to try blending the two and getting a new color, which I'm not sure will be dark pearl gray. And we're going to try to do a fade on that. So let's do a quick review. Uh, the knife I'm going to try to fade is the EF924 by Effingrau. So first I'll get some knives dyed in the light gray. And I'm going to think I'm going to do light gray here. And then I'm going to do a dark gray from here to here. And then I'm going to mix, you know, that's dark gray is going to be where I mix some of this dark stuff in with the light stuff. And then I'll put this back in from the dark stuff and try to get a fade and see what happens. So that's knife mod one. Okay, this is knife mod two. Uh, hopefully you watch the beginning of this video where I'm going to try to stain these two knives in these two. What we're going to do is uh, the light color. And then we're going to mix a dark color in with the light and try to get uh, like a real light charcoal on these. What I have here, of course, is the infamous Ontario Rat number one in Desert Tan. So I will probably stain this without taking apart because it's got washers, it's got stainless steel blade, and nylon shell. Uh, secondly, the Harns Knight, kind of in a tan. Uh, it's got a GRN handle, glass reinforced nylon. And, uh, and this, by the way, guys, these say... They will stain nylon. So this, both of these have nylon. Both of them are going in without taking them apart. I'm not afraid of the washers rusting. And this is 8CR130V. This is Oz8 uh, stainless steels. I'm just going to rinse them off, shake them out. Hopefully they'll dry real good. Hey guys, this is Rusty Miner. This is... Hopefully you're looking at a continuation of the first video. Uh, knife mods. We're on knife mod four. This is the Tangram Orion with G10. And uh, because it's got a nice bead blasted blade, we're not going to mess with that. What I hope to do is lighten up and get this G10 handle a little bit better. So we'll talk to you. See how that works out. Okay, guys. Well, this is how my rat turned out. My Orion and the Harns. Now, these all were in the one with the, uh, what do I want to say, all purpose. Uh, and they did get dyed. So. Check that out. Now I learned something really important. Follow the directions on the dye. It's like two ounces per gallon. And I used like eight ounces per 16 ounces. So I did not get the effect I wanted really. Um, but well, I don't know. Still kind of cool, don't you think? I'm going to let it set for a while. How's the rat looking? Yeah. I could have bought one that looked like that. Maybe it'll come around. The horns. That's a different color. Definitely a different color. Alright guys.